It's incredibly hard and takes forever to make a 3D animated movie, is what Disney and Pixar would say. But is that really the case today? Join me as I show you guys how I use AI together with my favorite 3D animation software to make my own short animated movie in less than 17, 17 days. days. So it takes Disney Pixar many, 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 many years to complete an animation movie. According to Pixar CEO Jim Morris, Turning Red had one of the quickest development times for any Pixar movie yet, and it took them four years to make this particular movie. Now listen, I understand that when it comes to Disney Pixar movies, every second of the movie counts. Every animation, every moment is perfected and perfected and perfected, and that's why we enjoy these movies so much. But for little old me, Four years is a very long time to wait for a movie to be completed, especially if you've got a cast and crew of more than 400 people. And yes, I actually counted the amount of credits on the credit roll for Turning Red. I stopped counting after 400, by the way. And the fact that it took them such a long time to make these movies nearly, I said nearly, nearly put me off from trying to make my own 3D animation movie, but it didn't. So I challenged myself. It took Pixar four years with 400 plus people to make a full length movie. So I gave myself 400 hours by myself to make a short animation movie by myself. So join me as I show you guys the steps that I used to actually make this particular movie. So I started by researching the steps needed to produce a 3D animated movie. And this is what I've learned. So the production steps included, number one, coming up with a concept. Then you've got to turn the concept into a story. Number three is to put that story into a script. And then four would be to come up with some concept art and that would involve coming up with color schemes, drawing styles, characters, props, backgrounds, and sort of a look and a feel of your movie. And then step number five would be drawing a storyboard. That's basic sketches to sort of help you plan your sequences beforehand. And then of course there's the voice acting. Then there's the 3D modeling, which is basically shaping the characters and the props. Step number eight would be texturing and that's adding colors and textures to your characters and your props once you've modeled them. And then you'd have to rig them. In other words, add bones to the characters and to the props to make them animatable. And then finally you'll get to the actual animation step, which takes forever. And then of course you've got to render these animated clips out. And once you've done that, step 12 would be compositing and editing all of this together in some form of editing software to be able to create your own movie after adding music and visual effects. Listen, now that's a lot of steps. And I can totally understand why it takes so many people such a long time to make a 3D animated movie. And having discovered that I've got to go through all 12 of those steps by myself, I must admit that it nearly, I said nearly, nearly put me off from making my own 3D animated movie, but it didn't. Which leads me to the reason why you clicked on this video to start off with. So we're going to talk through these 12 steps now. It goes without saying that if I'm going to do one YouTube video covering all 12 steps, we might end up with a video that's an hour or two hours long. So I thought it best to break this video up into a series of videos. So hopefully it will take me about four videos to complete the series. Today obviously is video one. And to start off with, we're going to look at the first four steps in our process. And I'm going to show you guys the quickest way, in my opinion, to make your own 3D animated movie. And we're going to start off with the concept stage. Let's go. Now, because the story you want to tell is so important, it should be fully considered. A great concept is the starting point to a great movie, is what Peter's second Uncle Ken would have said. And therefore, you need to spend a lot of time coming up with a concept and working on your script. The problem is, that is so last year. Today, we simply hop over to ChatGPT. And here's what you do. So open ChatGPT, and then you create an account if you don't have one. Now click on try ChatGPT. Now we can get ChatGPT to come up with a concept for us. Uh, let's keep it simple. Okay, so I'm gonna punch in here, short movie concept for a 3D animation with a high school girl and boy. There we go. And in case you're wondering why I chose High School Girl and Boys, because I have a number of characters and props already for this particular theme. And we also want to try and keep this PG. Okay, so there we go. Five theme concepts ready to choose from. Let's have a look at these quickly. So the first one is First Love, a heartwarming story. Yep, no thank you. Let's move on. Number two, The Science Project, a comedy about a high school girl and boy who paired together for a science project and they worked together and they discovered their own strengths and their own weaknesses. That's still way too sappy for me. Thank you so much, but no thank you. Number three, a talent show, a musical, <laughs> musical, seriously. Okay, definitely not for me. Moving on to number four, the mystery. Hmm, that already sounds intriguing. A thriller about a high school girl and boy who team up and solve a mystery that has been haunting their school. As they follow the clues, they realize that they are in over their heads and must rely on each other to stay safe. Huh, that sounds like one I can possibly work with. 
Let's just have a look at number five quickly. We can come back to four. The field trip about a high school girl and boy who gets lost on a field trip and must work together to find their way back. Yeah, that could have been a cool one. Give that one second place. Uh, uh, I think the one that's going to work best for us here is the mystery one. Sort of a Scooby-Doo kind of a feel. That's what I'm already picking up. There we go. Great. Concept's done. All right, great stuff. The concept is done. Now we move on to the story and the script. All right, so steps two and three we're going to do in one go. This is the story and the script. ChatGPT is going to be doing all the heavy lifting for me. Cool. Now let's get back to our AI generator and give it some work to do. I'm going to punch in here, write a script for a short movie for an animated 3D movie using the concept. And now all I'm going to do is copy and paste it over here. There we go. Punch my concept. I mean, the concept in there. And now all I'm going to add at the end here is just going to give it some more promptings. I want an intro, middle, and ending. And the ending must be a surprise. There we go. Enter. Boom! Here comes our script. Thanks, ChatGPT. Here we go. Hey, look, the script is actually formatted quite cool. It's got the headings and everything on there. So it starts off with int, which means inside a high school hallway during the day. We see a high school hallway with students bustling around. Suddenly the lights flicker and go out. Screams are heard in the distance. And then we move inside the principal's office. The principal is speaking with two students, Kim and Jason. The principal says, there has been some strange occurrences happening in the school lately. We believe it to be a mystery and we need you to help solve it. Kim and Jason agree to help and set out to investigate. Hey, wait, wait a minute. That's not a script. Uh, what does Kim and Jason say? Mm, yeah, no, that's not gonna work for me. I need some more dialogue for Kim and Jason. Man, let's try that again. Let's go over to ChatGPT and give it some more information. Okay, uh, I'm gonna just add in here, including all dialogue. Okay, let's try that again. Here we go. Ah, there we go, revised script is ready. Um, this is much better. Kim says, what kind of mystery? Principal responds, we ring some strange noises at night. Jason says, what do you need us to do? Ah, that's much better. This is much, much better. All right, now that my script is done by ChatGPT, I'm going to copy and paste it into my script writing software, which is Final Draft 11, which is a paid for script writing software, but it's going to help me because I'm going to be making some edits, some dialogue changes, and then I'm also going to finalize the format to make the storyboarding and the voiceovers easier. You'll see how that works later on. But the goal still remains to stick to ChatGPT story and script. So over to Final Draft 11 I go. So I'm going to forward this so that you don't get bored. Uh, but essentially, I'm just doing some edits and changing some dialogue here to make sure that the story actually has a sort of a consistent feel and that follows the basic principles of story. So give me some time. I'll be back with you shortly. Many, many minutes later. All right, there you go. Steps one, two, and three are complete. And it took me plus minus an hour and a half to complete those three steps. So yeah, I spent the bulk of my time editing the actual script, but still an hour and a half to put together a short animated script is not bad at all. Now for the sake of time, I'm not gonna read through the entire script, uh, but you're gonna have to stick around to see how the story unfolds. Uh, but we're gonna move on to the next step, which is our concept art. So concept art is an entire study of its own. Uh, did you guys know that there's a 160 page book available for sale dedicated just to the concept art that was used in Disney Pixar's Turning Red? That is hectic stuff. Now, personally, I think I may have hit a roadblock here because I'm not a concept artist, not by any stretch of the imagination. But I know who is, the Mid Journey bot on Discord. So I don't have to tell you guys where I'm going to next. I'm going over to Mid Journey. And if you don't have a subscription to Midjourney yet, I highly recommend it. Um, and I'll leave a link in the description below for you to follow if you want to do that. So I do realize that there are a number of free options, but Midjourney, in my opinion, still produces the best images for concept art. And the cool thing is you don't have to keep the subscription. You can subscribe for one month and then cancel it, which is what I did in this particular case. 
Right, let's hop over to Discord and into my mid journey server. We are going to generate some concept art here very quickly. Right, let's scroll down here and try to ignore everyone else's image, which is so difficult. Uh, but here we go. Okay, let's find our spot. There we go. All right, so it all starts with a forward slash imagine. All right, cool. Okay, let's start with Amy and Jason inside the principal's office. Just, sorry, I just need to take a step back. So I changed my female character from Kim to Amy. Yeah, because I thought it would be a, a more appropriate name for the type of character. And you'll see what I mean later on. And that was a decision I made while I was doing the script. Cool stuff. So here we go. Disney scene. Uh, no, 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 not Disney scene. Let's do movie scene. Movie scene with cute high school girl and Disney style boy speaking to the Principal in his office. Comma. All right. What else are we gonna put the? Oh, we want Disney style render and lighting. Comma. And then what else do we need? Um, oh yeah, we want it to be saturated. Most of these Disney movies got a very sharp color. And then our aspect ratio. Okay, so uh, and uh, aspect ratio is AR of sixteen by nine. There we go, and hit enter. Great stuff. Here we go. Okay, cool. Our first four images are ready. Let's get a closer look. This is this is nice. Okay, let's open up in our browser for full screen. I like it. Okay, cool. I like it. I really like it. Uh, now let's save this to my downloads and let's gather some more images. All right, I'm going to forward this for you guys and I'll jump to uh, after I actually uh, created some more images and I'll come back to you guys shortly. Many frame building attempts later. All right, cool. 45 minutes and a number of images later, our basic concept images are done. So here are some of the images that I gathered together. So these are the images for the inside of the principal's office, which I think looks pretty cool. And then this is what I'm hoping to do with the outside of the school. And then I'm also going to use some of the images I've gathered together to create our two characters. So this is what I'm hoping our two main characters will look like. Then we've got Jason and we've got Amy. So those are our concept images and that's where we're going to end this particular video. It goes without saying that if you enjoyed this video and you're keen to see the next steps in the process, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And then don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be one of the first people to be notified when the next video comes out, which will hopefully be in next week. That's it for me for this particular video. See you guys next week in my second one. Keep well. Cheers. Bye-bye.